Welcome to this daily geography revision. This is coastal landscapes number six, looking at headlands and bays, and I hope you find this really useful. Take a look at the image of the coastline here. This is the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. You can see that the coastline is not a straight line. You can see areas that stick out into the sea. And these areas, if you look at the arrow there, are called headlands. These are parts of the coastline that stick out, they jut out into the sea. And these contrast these other areas which don't jut out into the sea called bays. And if you look closely at the bay, you can see this it's lovely curved crescent shape um, with a beach. It looks very different to the headland sticking out. And what you might ask, be asked to do in your examination is to explain how these headlands and bays form what creates this shape on the coastline. And actually, it's a very simple process. Headlands and bays form on coastlines where there are different kinds of rock. And if you look at this map here, this is uh, from an Ordnance Survey map, you can see in blue, we have the sea there surrounding this coastline, but the rock type, the geology of the, of the coastline has three different types of rock. There is a clay in that lighter color there, there is a chalk and limestone in the darker brown and gray color, and they are of different strengths. So the, the rock, the clay and the ch chalk are very different in terms of their composition. The clay is a very soft rock, chalk is a very hard rock, for example. And this is called a discordant coastline. So any coastline where the rock is of different types is called a discordant coastline. Take a note of the DI for different and the DI for discordant there in red, just to help you remember that different rocks on a coastline, then you have a discordant coastline. So headlands and bays form on this type of coastline. And it's quite simple to see why. And the next diagram will help us look at this. Let's imagine this is the uh, same coastline. I've got uh, in the orangey yellow color there, my chalk, which is a hard, strong resistant rock it doesn't erode very easily but i've also got there that clay that very soft less resistant rock which does erode quickly so every day as the sea is eroding this coastline and you will remember from uh, revision lesson one about coastal erosion abrasion attrition and hydraulic action every day the sea is eroding that coastline however it erodes those rocks at different speeds the clay will erode much quicker than that hard chalk rock around it. And as you can see now in the diagram, the sea has moved in inwards there, creating a bay. And that's because the clay will erode much quicker. And that forms the bays, but the chalk is still jutting out into the sea, leaving what is called a headland. There is your headlands there, jutting out into the sea. So less resistant, that's the soft rock, erodes faster than the more resistant hard rock along the coastline. So just let's put this into thing. You can rewatch that and go through that again before we have a quick knowledge test, but let's go through this together. What is a coastline called with two different types of rock? Discordant. Okay, hopefully you said that out loud to yourself. A discordant coastline of different types of rock. Name a hard resistant rock. Chalk or limestone would do there. Name a soft, less resistant, so less strong rock. Clay. And four. How does a bay form? How does a bay form? So that's when the less resistant rock is eroded at a quicker rate than that hard rock, which is next to it, side by side or adjacent to it. So the bay forms when the less resistant rock, the clay, is eroded faster than the hard rock nearby. And name a famous discordant coastline with headlands and bays. Always important to have an example when we put our answers together got the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. So if you weren't able to access that knowledge check, go back to the start of the video and watch through again. Of course, you can pause as you go through. Now, let's look at what the question would look like. So likely to be a four mark question. 
such as this one, explain the formation of headlands and bays. This is a question not asking you to analyze, evaluate, assess, or anything complicated, just wants you to describe and explain a process. And um, process questions are often about four marks because there's literally usually four things to say to explain how something happens. And we want to use this geographical vocabulary if we can. So I'm gonna go through an answer first of all. Headlands and bays form on discordant coastlines where the rock type or geology contains both resistant and less resistant rock. So you want to open saying where headlands and bays form. They form on discordant coastlines. That would get you your first point in this point-based question. Over time, coastal erosion caused these rocks to erode at different rates or different speeds. So just acknowledging that there is some difference in the speed of erosion on a discordant coastline would give you the second mark. What happens next? We've got four marks to get through. Less resistant rock, such as the clay, erodes more quickly, forming the bay. So you've now said which rock type, you've named a rock, and you've said that that is the type that forms quickly, uh, erodes quickly, forming the bay your third mark there and then more resistant rock such as the chalk erodes slowly and that will remain jutting out into the sea as a headland and you'd probably get your fourth mark there but with all questions in geography your top tip always give an example location and if you remember a famous discordant coastline with headlands and bays is the Jurassic coast in Dorset okay that's where we're at today. You can try that question yourself, um, going through the uh, headlands and bays question using the vocabulary there. Try and write it yourself and check it against the answer on the previous uh, slide that I just showed you. And hopefully you've got an understanding of how headlands and bays form. Do subscribe to this channel if you want to get an update. There will be daily geography revisions coming out to help support you as you revise for your exams for next year and with any home learning that you need to do over this time. Thank you very much.